Hello, I'm Vanessa from Life Mentoring. Today's topic is loneliness. I thought that I might write about loneliness and then I thought, oh, that's going to be huge for me. Um, loneliness has been something that, um, that was with me for a while and I thought it would be really, really hard to write about it. So I thought twice about it, but then I thought, no, no, I really have to. I really think I can do this. And also because it's such a hot topic at the moment, I thought it would be really worth while me sharing if, see the thing is, I got over it. I actually decided to tackle it earlier this year and I got over it. So my thoughts were, if I could help anybody in any way with this, then that would be su that would just be something I could give. So here today, I am going to talk you through how I achieved it, and I'm hoping that you get something out of this. I'm not promising to solve your loneliness, but it would be great if it helps you. And obviously, as usual, feel free to ask questions and um, you know see if we can work through this for you. So firstly, um, what is loneliness? Okay, so those of you who really are struggling with loneliness, you know full well what this is. However, the interesting thing is that the rest of the world who hasn't struggled with it, they don't quite understand it. They say, well, I can be alone. I actually quite like being alone. Um, so I thought the hardest thing for me was going to be kind of admitting and acknowledging my loneliness and talking to you about it. But actually what was really, really hard for me was the research, because doing the research, I put out there that I wanted to hear other people's tips and thoughts on loneliness. And I have to say that was so triggering for me. Like that really, I struggled with that because people would say things like, well, just go read a book. And I think, okay, how long do I go and read a book for? Um, and they would just say lots of things like, well, go and talk to people as though that would help. And actually that made me feel worse, even though I'm not even struggling with loneliness now. You know, I was back in that that feeling. Um, so yeah, it was a little bit hard to do the research for this. Um, but for those of you who know about loneliness, the true loneliness, you know that it's a feeling, okay? It's not, it's not a physical situation that you are on your own. In fact, even more common is to feel lonely, but be surrounded by people. And then that's that's real true loneliness. That actually hurts even more. So for those of you who have this feeling, you know that it's, you know, it's right in your heart. It's a really, yeah, it really, really gets to you. So um, I did look at the history of loneliness um, because it came up that apparently there wasn't really such a thing until the 1800s. I thought that was quite interesting. Um, you, in novels like Jane Austen, you know, they just talk about finding their partner. Um, now, whether you believe that or not, you know, was there loneliness? Is it a new modern phenomenon? Who knows? And actually, is it important to you? Well, the point is, it's about what you're feeling right here, right now, and how you can get past it. So firstly, Yes, loneliness is a thing and quite a big thing at the moment and it's a real feeling and it's something that you do need to approach. And today I am going to give you three steps. These are what I went through and I'm not saying it's easy or it's quick, but I believe these can be really helpful to everybody. Now my first tip, um, which I've already kind of touched on, is about not talking to people about it, which is kind of contrary to what most people would say. They'd say, talk about it. But as I've already mentioned, actually talking to people about it makes it feel worse because they don't understand. So my tip, first tip is, if you do want to talk about it, which is a good thing, choose people who understand. Because if you do, you know, it can be acknowledged and validated with true understanding, not dismissed with, well, you should just go out and find some hobbies or something like that. So that's my first tip. My second thing, and this is when I really sort of decided to get into, right, let's, let's fix this loneliness. I started with, well, what is it that I need? What's missing? So what was happening for me was I had needs like everybody else and they just weren't being met. So I delved into that. Now we have 
six, we can categorize six needs that we all have. So there's significance, there's variety, there's growth, there's connection, there's certainty, and there's contribution. So when I stopped to look at those six, I started to think, right, what is it that I'm wanting from my friends and family? What do I want from the people around me? And what I discovered was I wanted significance, connection, and growth. I wanted three things. That's half of them. I was trying to get through my friends. No wonder it wasn't happening. So what I did um, was what I do with a lot of things is I thought, how can I make this more about me? something that comes from me rather than relying on others because relying on others it wasn't working it wasn't happening just maybe they were the wrong people or whatever but it wasn't happening and i wanted to take it onto my responsibility so that i could fix it so i looked at each one in turn so the first one is growth uh, this for me was the easiest one i have a lot of need for growth i need to learn a lot grow a lot i want to hear a lot i want to hear different points of view so what is growth to you? That's the first question. What is it? And is it about growing personally? Is it about growing outside of you? Uh, why do you need it? I'll tell you why you need it, because we always need to be moving as humans, moving forwards. We can't stay still. There's no such thing as static. Even water, static water, stagnant. It grows something. So if you are not moving forwards, you're not staying still, so you're moving backwards. So however small your steps are, always make sure you're moving forwards. So that's growth. Why do you need it? Because you can't stay static. What is growth to you? And then how can you find it? Through, possibly I, I do it through myself, not looking at it from the outside. Who's going to give me growth? How can I get it from myself? And then the next thing, and this is a big one, the next one is connection. We all need connection. So if you think about it, we are pack animals. We live in a tribe. We want to belong, which is why quite often we're people pleasers. We don't do what we want totally because we want to fit in. So we have to please other people. So we need to find connection and we want to belong. And this is so important to us. So when you find what's really important to you in your life, some people call it your purpose, but just whatever excites you, what lights your fire, okay? That's your main passion, that's your big thing. And through that, you can find your tribe, the people who are the same as you, the people who are trying to learn about the same things. And that's not to say you discount anyone, you know, other people in your life, but make sure you have those people who, you know, are like-minded people and you'll find that connection with them. And then amazingly what happens through that connection is because you then start to belong and you start to have value and then you start to have significance. You are not overlooked. It's interesting that one of the things people say is um, to overcome loneliness. Oh, well, just reach out to people. But it's interesting, I don't know if you've ever played the game. This is for the lonely people. Have you ever played the game of, oh, well, let's wait and see whether people contact me? You know, I'm always the one reaching out and it's not achieving anything. And so, yeah, I've tried this. Let's wait and see if people can't reach out to me. You know, what if people ask me how I am? And that is a really sobering game to play because they don't. You get totally overlooked. You know, they don't reach out to you. That I could be missing from society for days and people just don't even notice. So that highlights your lack of significance. So just to recap one more time, you need growth, you need connection, and through these comes your significance. So I'm just going to summarize the whole thing. Loneliness is a genuine, valid feeling. Loneliness is right in your heart and they have done studies and they prove, as if you didn't know, they prove that it's damaging to your health. So loneliness is a true thing and it's valid. You need to look at what's missing in your life, which need, needs are not being met. And for me, it was three of them, growth, 
connection and significance. And when I managed to fix all of those three, it all came together and it all went away. I belonged, I had value and I was moving forwards. I really, really hope this can help as many people as possible. If you know other lonely people, um, you know, just share it with them. If you have questions, ask me about it. I really, really hope you can move through your journey and get out the other side like I have, because it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So I wish you all the best and do make contact. Thank you for watching.